Okay, so this time I want to give you a quick overlook on how to create actions and record actions in Photoshop because it's a very handy tool when you specific, specifically if you're doing things again and again and you just want to save a bit of time by uh, recording what you do, the steps of operations that you do so that you can do them just in one click again later. That's the whole idea of actions is to make things a bit easier and uh, improve your workflow. So to, to bring up the the window, you're going to go to window, you're going to go uh, actions, click here. So here's the, the action window, I've got quite a few things myself. I'm going to just drop this here with everything else, here you go. Uh, I've got I've got a folder here, I'm going to, actually I'm going to create it again, I'm going to delete this folder. You go a few options at the bottom here and you got some more options here. So I'm going to create a new folder that will contain the new actions. I'm going to so it's called a, a set, I'm going to call this temp for temporary, here we go, it appears at the bottom here, so that's just a folder to organize your, your actions. I'm going to now create um, a first action, so let's say I want to use a, an action to create a standard document with a specific resolution, and uh, because let's say I use this resolution a lot, so for example uh, I personally work um, a lot of uh, files in, in, in video format, so um, I'd like to have a to have a video format for documents. So let's go ahead and create that. I'm going to hit this one at the bottom here. That uh, creates a new action. So I'm going to give it a name first. I'm going to say a new uh, video uh, doc document. Just doesn't matter. Here you go. <clears throat> so now for the moment nothing's happened. It's just created uh, the action and as you can see here at the bottom the red button here is is uh, flashing I mean it's actually uh, turned red so that means that it is recording right now so anything I do from this point on will be recorded and one action for everything I do will be added to the list here so let's I'll show you this so let's say I create a new document file new document and I um, I will choose a resolution of yeah that's good I'm going to go with that. Uh, okay, so here you go. So here you see it's, it's created this little action there. It's called make uh, to make a new um, document. It's got should have options here. It tells you the details of what's happened. Uh, so it's re it's registered, recorded all of these uh, all of these data for you. So that's it. I could stop here, and um, that's my first action saved. There's only one action is that in that action. One, just one step. Um, another thing I, I do a lot is to uh, to create um, <clears throat> a simple line layer to, to draw lines. Um, so usually what I would do is that I would show you I would um, create a new solid. Uh, it would be black, okay, and uh, I would f this it create it comes automatically with an alpha channel. I would fill in that alpha channel with um, black for example so that there's nothing and then I would start drawing on that alpha channel and that would be um, and that would be my lines um, <clears throat> so if I wanted just so that these steps uh, happen automatically so I don't have to, to do that again myself I uh, I actually created an action to do that um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just get rid of this one and start recording an action that will do exactly what I've just done. So I'm going to create a new one and it's going to be called new layer, a line layer let's say. Here you go and uh, now I'm going to start recording, so it's recording right now, I'm going to start doing some things, so I'm going to here click um, this button to create a solid color, it's going to be black, OK. Uh, um, I'm usually not happy with the fact that they're linked, so I usually unlink them uh, personally. Then I select here, and I'm going to, I'm going to do image, uh, no, um, layer, fill, where is it? Where is it? No, it's in edit, sorry. Edit, fill, I'm going to fill this up with uh, black. Here we go. And, and now I'm happy, that's all I need. Uh, but I could also, for example, choose by default my favorite uh, brush. So let's say I'm going to hit um, uh, just this one, just for the sake of it. 
and uh, and then when, once everything's okay, oh yes, I could also rename uh, the layer, for example. So I'm going to call it line. Here you go. And then I go back to my actions. I can see that it's created all of these actions here. It's still recording. So once I'm happy and it's created everything I wanted, I can just hit stop. And here you go. I've got I've got this um, action ready. So let's test it. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna get rid of the layer that I created here. I'm gonna go back to actions, and I'm gonna select the action that I want to uh, play. And I'm gonna play here. So I go back to my layers, yep. and there we have it. The line is there. It's all exactly how I created it. So if I want to draw on this, I just create the uh, select the alpha channel, and I can start. I can start drawing. That's as simple as that. Uh, that's that's all you need to know for actions. I mean, there's there's more obviously that you can do. Um, I'm going to show you quickly a couple of things. If you want to save your actions, you can actually save uh, by folders. You cannot save the actions individually. You have to select the folder. You can go here and uh, save your actions, and you can see you can load actions, uh, clear all actions. You got you've got a few more things you can do here. You can you can have a look at that. And also, if you wanted, let's say, to remove one of the steps uh, inside your action, you could just unclick some of the steps. And uh, as you can see, as you do that, there's a red little um, indication here that something's changed. It, they removed one of the arrows. So if, you, if they're all white, then the main arrow stays white. And then you've got these little squares here. If you, if you click, let's say, um, uh, fill, I'm going to click on this one. Then it shows something that a little icon that looks like a little window. I mean, so you will have a pop-up when it reaches that for action. You will have a pop-up that will allow you to edit uh, the the value of that setting. So let's say I wanted to do a line layer, but this time I wanted it to be red. Um, instead of uh, having to redo everything, I can just uh, click on that, uh, play the the action, and when he when he actually fills it with a uh, Oh, actually, yeah. Sorry, it's the wrong thing. Anyway, but I could fit it in with something else. Fifty percent gray, for example. That's the point. And now it's fifty percent gray. So that's see created a new layer with an alpha channel of fifty percent gray. So you you can actually edit, make your get a bit more out of your actions by doing these things if you wanted to. You can also easily remove one. Uh, you can unclick it, or you can drop it in the bin here. Or you can also duplicate by moving one over to this icon here, and then you got twice the same thing. Uh, you can reorganize. You can put that here. You can put that there. Uh, there you go. So it's it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward, and it's so uh, efficient. Uh, it can save you a lot of time. So I really encourage you to try it out, even for little tiny things that you do every day and repetitively. And if you get good at it, you can actually um, start making some really complex and really efficient tools um, for your work. So good luck with that.